Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm the king. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. The Dead by Daylight player satisfaction survey has been bestowed upon us, and I've actually completed this survey already. But as I was doing the survey, I found a lot of intriguing ideas and things. These surveys always bring forth a lot of ideas. We've seen in the past, they talked about some things that are currently in the game with map changes and stuff like that, and even as big as the rift coming on into the game. So there are some more ideas and concepts in this that I really, really liked, and I wanted to show you guys this so you guys can go ahead and do this survey for yourself, because not only will it give us cool stuff in the future, but it's also how you're feeling about Dead by Daylight. And I know right now a lot of the OG players are not really feeling the game too much, whereas the newer players absolutely love it. So this is your one and only chance to give the developers some good feedback on what really boils your blood and the type of changes that you want. Now I've gone ahead and as I said, I've answered everything here. They talk about how are you satisfied with Dead by Daylight and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and skip over all of these things. I don't want to influence your decisions as well. Everyone has their own opinions. We're going to just go ahead and focus on the major thing. Oh, and keep in mind, they also speak about matchmaking and things like that. So you definitely want to go ahead and do the survey and give all your opinions if this is something that has been pestering you and uh, something that's been on your mind. So here is the first section of the things that I found very, very intriguing. To what degree do the following have potential to improve your experience in Dead by Daylight? Now, these are all cool and interesting concepts that could potentially come on into the game. I'll make it a little bigger so we all can see. Updates to current killers. So this is reworking some of the killers that we have in the game. Uh, these are the killers that don't really do good, such as the Legion and things like that. So uh, you can vote on that however you like. Uh, then we have updates to current killer and survivor perks. We spoke about this not too long ago in a video saying some of the old survivor perks and killer perks really need a 2020 overhaul. Updates to current survivor items. Reworking some of the items, adding in new items. That's something that we would love to see coming on into the game. Just some more cool concepts they're messing around with. Updates to controls and sensitivity. Again, hinting towards crossplay. We spoke about this multiple times in multiple videos where sensitivity is a major issue on console and having a higher sensitivity will help with some of the ADS killers, people that rely on their accuracy, nurse, huntress, death slinger, and, uh, building that uh, bridge so that console players can be on the same level as PC players is the step that they need to take in order to do crossplay and cross-platform. Updates to the current map layouts. As we saw, we got a bunch of those already. So this is just feedback and how happy you are with those. So new variations to pre-existing maps, maps that don't really have anything such as Lampkin Lane, maybe having a variation to that similar to how bad in preschool has maybe five of them, right? Updates to graphics, you know, changing the Unreal Engine to upgrade all of the things that we currently have in the game that, you know, sometimes don't look the best. Uh, I think the graphics look really good, but I mean, if they can upgrade the graphics even more, why not? Maybe get some RTX stuff in there. Adding new DLC characters, examples, survivors and killers. So how important compared to everything else are them working on the chapter. So if you guys were to say some of these other things are a little bit more important, maybe we will have like a not as heavy chapter and instead they would work on actually fixing the base game rather than working on the DLC with all of their heart. And then finally, we have updates to current killer add-ons, which is something that we definitely need as well. So just cool concepts that they, they talked about here. And I wanted to show you guys this and encourage you guys to give your feedback on this. As I said, I already voted and, uh, you know, based on what I said, you can already tell where some of my answers were. And there was also one more thing that I wanted to show you guys. Um, they just go on here and talk about disconnections and things like that. But towards the end of this, when they ask for... What's your favorite character? Who do you want to see have more stuff? They also, by the way, spoke about um, content creators that you watch. They actually ask you right here, who's your favorite DVD content creator? So feel free to put whoever you like in there. So I actually realized I skipped the part that I also wanted to show you guys. So this is a screenshot of the things that I filled out for me. And on question number 34, they asked you, what combination would you make for your ideal cosmetic? They had a bunch of genres, so I picked cute and horror. There was a bunch more that was there. Then they asked you about the color, if you want it dark, if you want it bright, uh, then if you want it neat or clean. And the, the thing that really stuck out to me was the style. Now, there was a bunch of styles. They had Western, they had medieval, they even had sci-fi cosmetics. And, you know, uh, these are ideas that they're messing around with that they currently have going on in their head. And they're like, ooh, this would be cool. This would be cool. And then they ask you if they wanted the pieces to be animated as well. So these are concepts that they're probably messing around with. 
and it, it brings the question are they thinking about something sci-fi or medievally because if they're trying to put a style like that into the game we know similar to like the dead singer he's western one of the styles that are here are western so giving everybody western cosmetics would suit well so does that mean medieval or sci-fi cosmetics will be linked to a character that is based off of medieval or sci-fi it, it it opens the door to a lot of questions and you know me i've been asking for a medieval chapter for about three four years now having a knight or a king as a killer and a medieval beautiful castle map could be a lot of snow there or something and this just gives me a lot of hope so uh that's kind of what i wanted to bring you guys in this video just a little quick short video talking about some of the cool stuff that are in the survey they always give us information and uh you know this can be another instance of that but make sure you guys go and complete the survey i hope you guys did enjoy before we end off today's video i need to tell you guys that tomorrow we are doing the war of the fog tournament and we're going to be raising money for charity i am going to be on a team called the megheads with polyester edgar allen bro Queen Kiro and that nerd Violet. I'm going to be their killer and we're going to have a lot of fun. There's also going to be a lot of other content creators that you guys probably watch that are going to be featured in off the top of my head. You know, there's Artita, JRM, Aaron, Monto, Satellizer, New Puppers, Farmer John, a bunch of people that are going to be in this tournament. So make sure you guys go out on Twitch tomorrow. Come over to my channel. You'll see everything there. You'll see all of my more. You'll also see more information on my Twitter and all that good stuff that's gonna wrap it up for this video i hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure you leave a like down below subscribe if you're brand new to the channel and as always i'm the king to my crown to you guys and i'll see you in the fog